Hi, welcome to another quick tip from Think Creative TV. Hope that you enjoy this, and if you do, it'd be great if you could subscribe and click the like button below. But let's get started with our tip of the day. So if you haven't seen yet, there's a great new set of updates to the iWork apps on pages, uh, Keynote and Numbers on both the iPad and on the Mac. Let's take a look at some of those updates in Numbers on the iPad. So jumping into Numbers, the first thing you'll notice the same across all three of the apps. You start in this new reader view. Now, this might not seem like a major thing, but for me, and as you can see on the screen at the moment, I've started using Numbers as a sketch noting tool. And where that was a little bit frustrating is as I pan around the screen, I might grab some of the um, some of the drawings that I've done. Now I'm in a reader view. I can't actually edit any of these things, but I can move around the screen, which makes it really, really nice to start to sort of delve in. If I've written something that's too small, I can, you know, zoom into it. Um, and it really kind of helps kind of have that understanding of that whole big moving canvas. So for me, that's a, an absolute huge um, enhancement in this as I start to think about the use of numbers as a tool outside of its norm, which is obviously using it for spreadsheets. But there are so many other things that you can do with it. As well as that, then let's take a look at some of the other awesome things. If I tap on edit, I have that usual pane that I had before, but there is something which sits in here that also sits in pages, which is going to really transform what you can do with numbers as a learning tool in your classroom, not just as a spreadsheet maker. So beforehand, I could add in video, I could record my own video, and that's great. But if we're thinking about remote learning and providing things for our students that are a distance, um, having my video on a, on a sheet that then gets shared to them, it makes the sheet really, really big. So it would be great if I could embed a video that doesn't necessarily live on the sheet itself, but will link directly to a video elsewhere. So yes, you guessed it. If I tap on the plus and go to media, I now have the option to add in a link to a web video. So if I click on this, it brings up that URL. And I'm just going to jump into YouTube now. Let's say that you've made some videos that you want your students to be able to use. Um, and one thing that I think is cool at the moment is using numbers as a sketch noting tool. And, and so I'm your host share for all things that I've had in the classroom. I'm going to jump back Please, in. if you numbers, and I'm going to paste that in here. And you'll see that that is now going to have an insert into my document. It looks like it's the actual video, but it is actually just a video that will play um, from the internet. And to show you that, if I actually play it, you'll see that it actually links through. It's going to take a while. I'm just going to link through to that YouTube. Okay? Hey, so welcome that to YouTube. Think Creative uh, TV. My name is Matt Pullen, um, and I am your host oops. for all things yeah. iPad in the classroom. Just make that full Please, screen, even if you haven't already subscribed, support the full screen, on the subscribe button here, and, make that full and you can so that's get play up to date direct information in that all of my new videos. And I think that's going to hugely change. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at as how we can use numbers as a great scaffolding learning if we are sketch noting it for But specifically, if we're sketch noting, obviously, it's still a, a great data collecting tool. It's not something we're looking for. This could be also so much more. Book, so if you are a, a chapters, tech coach, if you're school, doing some research, you want to sketch note know about numbers as a tool, but it will be part of the same thing. Specifically, with your maths department or science teachers, show this to your other teachers, show this to your art teachers, show this to your PE teachers, show this to your English teachers, because actually, now if you start to think about all of the range of things that you can do with this as a tool beyond spreadsheets, I think you'll be surprised in what you'll get out of it as an actual working app in your toolkit. So there we go, just a couple of, of new enhanced features that you'll find within the numbers. And please check out the other videos as well on the updates to pages and the updates to Keynote.